Hey guys, what's up? It's a bit noisy outside, so please excuse me for that. So, we know different ways by which we can check or analyze a particular control system. We've seen different ways in which we can analyze a particular control system. And one such way is what we refer to as state space analysis. So, what do you mean by state space analysis of a particular control system? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju. Welcome to the Backbench Engineering community, where I make it very easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you actually mean by term state space analysis of a particular control system? Well, let's find out. So, state space analysis is a technique that is used for the purpose of analyzing a particular control system. So now, let us take a particular control system. So, with the help of state space analysis, what we can do is that just by analyzing the initial conditions, and just by analyzing the initial conditions, we can actually predict the future outputs of this particular control system. That is the beauty of state space analysis. So, for this purpose, we need certain terms. There are certain terms that are used. The first term is what you refer to as a state. What do you mean by a state? So, a state is actually a set of variables that actually tells us the history of a particular control system. So, just by analyzing the state of a particular control system, we can understand the history of that particular control system. So, with the help of this particular history, we can actually predict the future outputs or future values of that particular control system. That is what you refer to as a state. So, I've written it down over here. A state is a group of variables that actually summarize the history of a particular control system so that we can predict the future values or the future output values. So, now here, now that we know state, that is something referred to as state variables. So, state variables is nothing but a small set of variables that are used to determine this particular state of a particular control system. It is self-explanatory. And now finally we have something referred to as state vector which is nothing but a vector value which contains the state variables as their elements. So this with the help of these is how we actually do state space analysis. So the, the technique of state space analysis has a huge advantage over the other types of methods. One such advantage is that just by knowing the initial values, we can actually predict the output values, predict the future values. That is a major advantage of using state space analysis. This is actually more efficient than the conventional transfer function method. This gives us an idea of the controllability of a control system. So I've written a few advantages down. By knowing the initial conditions, we can predict the future conditions. It is applicable for all the dynamic systems. It is more accurate than transfer function method and it gives an idea of the controllability. This is a basic idea of what you refer to as state space analysis. As simple as that guys. So this is the basic idea of what you refer to as state space analysis and the basic terms that are present inside state space analysis. So I hope you guys now have a basic understanding of what you refer to as state space analysis and if you guys found this video informative please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned, stay subscribed and till next time I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.